In this final lesson, you'll learn how to alter video using filters. Choose File Open and select House.mp4. This opens a video layer, which is indicated by this icon here. Let's preview the video by clicking Play. So we have this entire video as a single layer here. Note that this is not a 3D layer. This is different. This is a video. Let's say we want to alter this video and give it a different look. If I were to apply a filter right now, it would affect a single frame of this video. And that's not my intention. I want to alter the entire video. So the secret for doing that is to encapsulate your video layer in a smart object. Better yet, let's encapsulate this entire group. So select Video Group 1 and then right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Then you can apply filters and they will affect the entire video. Go up to the Filter menu and choose Filter Gallery. Here we can design a sequence of filters. I'm going to delete the one that was there and just start with a single effect layer. Let's try rough pastels and adjust the parameters however you like to give you some interesting aesthetic effect here. I'm going to tone down stroke length and stroke detail pretty low. Also relief should be also quite low because there's a lot of detail in this video that I don't want to miss. I'll create a new effect layer and let's try something else. I'll try Diffuse Glow. How does that look? If I increase the glow amount, it seems really just to blow out the background. That's not good. So let's try a different one. Perhaps Accented Edges. It can change the width and the edge brightness. This makes it almost like a cartoon. What happens if we change smoothness? I'm going to drag that all the way down here. We get a lot more detail then. How about a value of 2? So really this is a very subjective process. You just need to come in here and create a look that is appealing. Click OK. And then you can double click here on this icon to open up the blending options. I'll change the mode to soft light and see if that's more appealing. What about hard light? That's too harsh. How about overlay? That doesn't do anything different. I'll go with soft light, but I'll tone down the opacity somewhat to 75%. OK. Now let's apply another filter. Let's try Camera Raw as a filter. So we have all of the development power inherent in Camera Raw available to us as a creative filter. I could increase the clarity, change the exposure of the entire video, alter the contrast, adjust the highlights, and so on. I'll click OK. I'll drag the time slider and you can see that this is actually altering the entire clip. The performance is a little slower now because there's much more calculation that has to happen frame to frame. Let's try sharpening this video by going back into Camera Raw, going over here to the Detail page, and increasing sharpening. While we're here, let's also take away some of the noise. OK. So this is a very flexible system because we can go back at any time in the future and make changes to this effect that we're creating on the video. When you're satisfied with the look, you can go ahead and export it by clicking this icon in the timeline. Just be sure to use a different name. I'll make this house-altered. And then when I click Render, it will take some time to export this as another MP4 file. So there you have it. In this video, you learned how to alter an existing video clip 
using a smart object and a sequence of filters.